Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Rust Sky for the Rust Beta on Xbox and PS4. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the dome. The dome is a perfect place for you guys to use whenever you're stuck between blue cars and green cars. Or I should say green car and blue cars. Yes. But now, before we get this episode started, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. And make sure to go follow the other boy members of the Boyfriend Squad that are down in the description down below. That is Jade Monkey from Jade Monkey Channel and Razor from RazorTube Channel. Now, with this said, let's just jump into it. So now, when you come into the dome, it's going to be a high PvP area. I'm not going to lie to you. The first things that you should bring is going to be a sleeping bag, a little satchel. That way you can hide it underground. And you're going to have to go pretty far away from the dome in order to place this sleeping bag. Like, really far away. I mean, this is how it is for most monuments. I would say if you're going to put a sleeping bag, make sure you put it hidden somewhere. Um, not under trees, but like kind of like in a bush. You know, like in a bush around here somewhere. All right, well, we're not getting really any good bushes, so we're just going to slap it down here somewhere. Like right there. Now, next to your sleeping bag or near it, you're going to slap one of these little bad boys right here. I would say bring some extra mech kits and some extra pens because you're going to need them. You're going to bury the stash, and then you're going to get ready to go do the dome. Okay? For the dome, you're going to, aside from that, you're going to need um, a weapon so you could defend yourself. A ranged weapon, a melee weapon, and some bandages as well as some epi pens. You're also going to need enough rat protection to protect you. Uh, fortunately enough, the dome is not one of these monuments that you're going to need a key card for. But you're still going to get radiation poison. And not in the entire dome, but just in some parts of it. Just for intensive purposes, I'm going to take off my clothes. So you can see that I am not getting any red poisoning at all. Now, there's going to be a lot of red barrels underneath here. Unfortunately, the server just reset it. So a lot of the stuff hasn't respawned yet, but you're going to see a lot of red barrels around here. Now, the reason being why you want the red barrels is because the red barrels are going to give you what is called crude oil. And you guys could actually come over here if you would like. I would suggest for you not to do this. But if you want to and you're risky and you live on the edge, you're more than welcome to. You're going to come in here. You're going to slap one of these things down. You're going to turn this on. And crude oil is actually going to give you low-grade fuel. From the red barrels, you're going to get low-grade fuel as well as, as well as crude. Now, the good thing about this is that if you guys are still working on like trying to get yourself a metal sheet door, and I am talking about these type of doors, not the double one, but the actual regular one. Here, if I go to construction and I go right here, one of these is 150 metal scraps. You're going to need, in order to make metal scraps or smelt metal into metal scraps, you're going to need a furnace. And a furnace, you need 50 low-grade fuel. Now, this is why you need to start hitting the red barrels. If you don't want to do the puzzle and the dome, you don't have to. You could just come down here and then loot the barrels. You could even just go up these stairs right here and then loot the barrels up here. There's always barrels up here. If we head up this way, we're going to see that there's barrels. Sometimes there's boxes, not always. I would say 90% of the time you're going to see barrels or maybe not because, you know, uh, players are a thing. So there's going to be blue barrels, there's going to be red barrels, and there's also going to be brown barrels. Like I said, the server just reset it. So, yeah, barrels are not here. And as you can see, boom, look, the red barrels are starting to spawn in right now, right here. You see? Woo! And then let, let me just show you for all intents and purposes. Right there, look. You're going to get low grade fuel and you're going to get crude oil. This is, oh, and let's pick up our arrow back up. This is why I love crossbows as well as regular bows. Now, if you do want to do the puzzle, you are going to have to come to the other side. And the other side, you're also going to see one of this bad boys right here. So you could also smell. I, like I said, I think it's better for you to go to outpost or abandoned camp to actually burn down your cruel into low grade fuel because it is not worth it to be here. Now, you might be wondering, why do I also need bandages in this? Is it just for the PvP? No, it's not only for the PvP. If you're trying to do the little jumping puzzle right here, you're probably going to fall down a couple of times. And you're going to lose health. So you should bring some of these med packs. And as well as the regular bandages. Now this puzzle reminds me if I was playing Mario Maker. If you guys know how to play Mario Maker or any Mario game. You should be A-OK -okay with this freaking puzzle. Because that's all you're doing. You're just jumping up and down and everything. Now 
this is the end of the line. From here, I'm going to need rat protection. If I get a little closer, I'm going to get rat poisoning right here. Okay, maybe maybe I got to go inside. Maybe it's buggy. Hold on a second. Am I lagging? Give me a second. Okay, no, I'm not lagging, so I don't know why am I not getting... Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the radiation right there that I was looking for. Okay, so as you can see, we're going to get radiation, so you're going to need at least 11 rat just like most green car monuments in order to get in here. Now, once you're in, as you can see, I'm no longer getting radiation. Cool. We're going to jump up this way. You're, you're going to be able to see boxes around here. There's going to be boxes there. There's going to be one box down there. And there's going to be a barrel all the way down there, as you can see it right there. Right there. You see? Oh, oh I'm stuck. Okay, there you go. Now, we're going to head up this way. And you're going to come up these barrels right here. You're going to jump on them. You're going to go up this ladder right here. You're going to continue going down this way. You're going to just continue this way. And then there are going to be two ways. You could go that way, but necessarily that's not the way you want to go. You want to go right here. I know it's scary. It's like, oh, dude, why would I jump up there? It's easy. You're just going to jump up here. You're going to run and you're going to make a jump. <gasps> oh, that was close. I, just, I felt slipping. Oh, my God. Is it sunset? Oof. And then you're going to come up this way. Oh, my God, guys. Hold on a second. Let me fix this sunset. We're, I should wait until the sun actually comes back up. All right. That's a lot better. So we're going to come this way. As you can see. Actually, let, 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 let me start back down there. You know, let me start back down there. So you're going to come up the real thing that I almost freaking fell off. You're going to come up this way. There you go. And then when you get up here, you're just going to get on this little thing right here. You're going to walk down this way. Boom. Like so. And then you're going to get to the second floor. Right here, you're going to see a bunch of boxes and stuff like that. Now, in order for you to get to the very top up there, there's going to be two ways. Now, the fastest way for you to get up there is going to be for you to jump this way. Now, it sometimes will feel like you're not going to make it. The best way to do it is just to get up yeah. the <gasps> And this is why you <laughs> This is why you get a sleeping bag, man. Right here. Oh jeez. <clears throat> Alright, boys and girls, we are back. So now obviously we want to go this way. That is the fastest way to go up. The other way that you could go is by jumping up this way and making your way up that way. But we ain't no punk bitch. We're gonna make that jump if we wanted to. Or I should say, we're going to make that jump because we need to. Honestly, the other way is going to be longer. This way is a little bit faster. And you're just in this for the loot. Oh, before I forget, right there, right there, you guys don't see it, but a crate spawns there. The way that you do it is that you jump down this way. You jump down that way like that, and then you just make your way down that way. All right, so let me see if we're going to be able to make this jump this time. All right, so the way that people do it, Jesus Christ. The way people do is that they kind of stand here on the edge. And then they spread the jump. There you go. Oh, Whoa, we made it. Let's go. <laughs> so now when you make that jump, you're going to come up this way. And just follow all the way up until you get up to the loot and you're going to get paid. You know, now one of the biggest things that you guys have to understand about this place is that this place is good to loot. I wouldn't suggest for you to go all, all the way up here. To loot this stuff and the reason why is because like it's just it's gonna take you too long you're wasting your time and then you're just wasting like the fact that you could fall down like i did and just kill yourself now there's gonna be military crates here right now they're not spawned in yet there's about i think it's like if i'm not mistaken like four of them so then now once you're all done you're gonna have to make your way down good luck but if i could be honest with you guys that would be i would just suggest for you guys to do the shorter way if you take the long way you're just going to be spiraling around in circles like i said earlier it is not worth it for me i think the best thing that you could do is just come up here loot the barrels you know and then loot the loot everything else that you guys are doing right here um, come up to like the first floor loot the boxes like i said like right there they're spawning in right now and then come to the second floor loot the boxes here and don't even bother just get out of here while you still can, you know, because once you make your way back up here, it's going to be hard for you to make it down without dying. So it's not even worth it. I would say it is worth it when you guys have a helicopter and then you could just land on this helipad. 
and then, well, not helipad, just land up here like a scrub and then just pick up the military crates and then dip out. Now, this is a dome once again. It's a really fun place to PvP, get paid, and just get cruel and as well as low grade fuel. But that's going to be it for this guide episode. And I hope to see you guys on the next couple of episodes. But until next time, guys, bye!